around the world. <laughs> well, you do actually. You do have one of the best ah. teams in the world. Yes, it is true. I think most people know that Brazil does have a good soccer team. Ah, but I don't know if we're gonna uh, uh, get this Copa World. Yeah, I, I think you have won five Copa World. That's right. That's right. You're right. Yeah. But yeah, you get all right. I I hope that the Vino Tinto, which is our team, uh, win the World Cup uh, in in this. Competition, the next competition. All right, I don't know if Brazil is ready, but we do, we do hope for that. There are so many things we need to change before, but I do hope the Brazil is gonna uh, do a, a good couple of wood. Right. All right. So I'm just sharing some uh, links. Here, if you don't already, if you're not already on our Facebook group, uh, if you use Facebook, we have a Facebook group for Kalingo, where people are talking about upcoming classes and stuff. It's cool. There's my uh, teacher page on Facebook. You can follow me, and then my Kalingo page. You can follow me and see what uh, classes are coming, uh, and all the other teachers. So some great teachers here. So um, yeah. Um, uh, hey, what's up? How are you? Oh, long time no see. A long what's time no see. Topic, yeah. What's the topic today? Ah, today uh, we are doing uh, intermediate grammar. Intermediate Very grammar. Intermediate oh. grammar and. Is it, is it? Uh, Huh? Is it is it easy? No, it's harder. It's a little harder really? than last time. Uh huh. <laughs> We're gonna talk about. It may it may be hard. Yeah, we're talking about um, uh, past uh, past tense stuff. It's not too bad. Um, it's not too bad. Um, so things like uh, past different kinds of past tense, past progressive. Um, but we'll just we'll read through it together, and uh, I don't think I don't think anyone's going to have a big problem with it. I think we'll be able to understand it pretty well. No, no problem. Uh huh. So what else is going on here? Do you play instruments, teacher? Uh yes, I, I do. Uh, this is my workplace. This is my studio, and I do different things here, including I I make music. But I also teach a music class on Colingo. So nice. check out that tech schedule and I'll teach you English through music. I'll That's listen awesome. to me. We'll sing, we'll, I'll play you a song maybe on guitar or something, piano or something, and talk about music. So we, there's all different ways to learn English, right? Right. And at Colingo, we try to do different, uh, different things for, for us. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's up? How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Uh, you are play, see. you are play uh, many, many instruments. Musical uh, instruments. No, I play a few. I play a few. Only guitar and piano. Uh, and drums too. And drums. Teacher, okay. mm -hmm. it's really hard for me to play drums. I don't know why. What What is the secret to play it? Well, uh. Drumming, uh, I don't know. It's it well it takes a lot of coordination. That's a good vocabulary word. <laughs> yeah. But also, um, to be rhythmic is hard. Yeah, it's. it's I don't a, know, but I know how to be. I know how to be rhythmic because I play guitar, I play piano, I play clarinet, okay. I play good. a lot of instruments. But I don't know why it's. Too difficult for me, too hard for me to play the drums. I I don't know why. It's yeah, it takes a lot of practice. I mean, it's easier for some people than others. Like some people can just pick it up and it makes sense. Some people it takes a lot of practice, but it is possible. You can learn to play the drum. I know you can. I mean, especially if you play piano, 
you play guitar, these are these are things you need to use rhythm. So you know rhythm, you know music. Uh, it's a matter of doing mo more than one rhythm at the same time. But you do that already with piano. You do more than one rhythm at the same time. Sometimes, depending on yeah, your it's it's it, it's more difficult for me to uh, to do something with my feet and something with my hand and something with my another hand. It's uh, it's really hard. <laughs> do you know? Yeah, you do yeah. you understand? Uh, I can understand why it would be hard. I mean, I think I I try to remember when I started. I taught myself how to play the drums, and when I started playing, I wasn't very good, but. <laughs> But I picked it up really fast. So it's different. Some people are better at some instruments than others. And so drums is my best instrument, I think. Maybe. So. Uh, all right. Okay. So we have a kind of a small class here. Kind of small. In fact, quite small. It's like a half a class. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay, we can still learn. Um, in fact, I will say... Um, if depending on what you're doing tonight, I think it's nighttime for everyone except for our friend in China. Um, it's middle of night. Uh, huh? It's middle of night right now. Yeah, in midnight Brazil. for some. In That's Brazil, right. it's midnight. All right. That's where you are. Um, but I also teach. Um, I have. Oh, okay, so okay, so I will also have an idioms class at uh, later not next not next hour but the hour after I'm coming back I'm gonna teach an idioms class if you want to learn expressions and idioms so that'll be fun really uh, fun. Uh, it's not fun to learn idioms <laughs> <laughs> why not no it's stupid uh, I mean when you learn some idioms so another people tell you another idiom it's hard hard really hard you, uh, you you learn one and, and the other day some people tell you another one it's hard. But it's extremely, extremely important if you wanna have a good com communication with the people. That's right, teacher. Yeah, it's it is, and especially in uh, in the United States, everybody uses uh, everyone talks with idioms all the time, and Could it is be. hard though. It is hard. there's so many to remember, and there, sometimes they sometimes. You have to say it just right, or people are gonna think that you're weird because we always have the same kind of ways to say things, and it's it's weird. Uh, we do it so much. I mean, every language has it. But yeah. Spanish. Spanish. I just know oh. this one. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> is it not the same like Islam? It, it is. Is it not the same as what? Islam's. Islam's. Mm -hmm. Say again. I, 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 I it's legs. Legs. It's legs. Could you type it? I just for some reason I'm not hearing it. All right. Let me see. It's legs. Slang. Oh, slang. 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 Yeah. So it's, it's slang. It's just it's, it's slang like is is never. Yeah. It's not world. It's not um. It's not plural. It's slang. Slang. Okay. There's no s at the end. Never an s at the end. It's always slang. So when you're talking about all the different words in slang, it's still slang. There's no s. So that's why I couldn't understand you. So slang. I'm sorry. Uh, is, uh, no, it's okay. Um, it's similar. So idioms are kind of, sort of part of slang. It's kind of the same kind of thing. And I will I will talk about slang sometimes. And in my advanced classes, sometimes we we listen to different uh, English speakers that speak, have different dialects, and including um, like street English. So we'll listen to someone speaking very much slang, and we have to work on listening to that because a lot of people talk like that too in in the United States, which uh, is very. Teacher, can you write that word, Lance? I don't know what there is. Slang. 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 So that's like cool, popular, current terminology that the kids use, or that cool people use. Or rappers use. I, I would, or, uh, or that's raps, raps use a lot. I would say I would say it's hard to understand when uh, people use link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, little, it's, a little, it's a little bit hard to understand. Yeah, it can be very strong. And it's, sometimes people in the United States don't understand it, depending <laughs> on the dialect. The 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 slang teacher generally is a. Um, uh, 
inform more English. Yeah. Or, or, or inform more English. Uh -huh. Correct. Whereas um, sometimes you can use idioms and expression in a formal situation. If you're doing business, no, that's uh, not good. You can use uh, idioms and, and, exp and expressions in business, actually, in America. It's very normal. Uh, um, all the in Brazil, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, slang, maybe not so much, because slang is a little bit more uh, it's like street English. So, mm -hmm. Street, so that's that. right, street English. I agree with you. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's begin our class. We're going to look at uh, different tenses. Look at past tense, especially. Uh, let's share. Oops. Uh, okay. So, can anyone see this on their screen? Surprise visitors. For me, it's good. Okay, so um, Alexander. Yeah, I'm here. I'd like you to read the first sentence and also the vocabulary words. Okay, sure. It's Sunday morning. Doug and his mother Eleanor are talking about the night before. Listen and read the conversation. Vocabulary: nouns, nightgown, mask, costume party, adjectives, facial, embarrassed. Okay. Good. Um, so, first of all, before we continue, before we uh, read this conversation, does anyone have any questions about the vocabulary? Some new words here. Any new words? What is, uh, what's new here? Yeah, night gone. Night gone. Night gone. Night gone. Uh, uh, it is something that happened during the night. How the uh, night's okay. going on? How the night's going on? Is this right? Uh, good, good guess. Good guess. Uh, <laughs> good it, guess. Does have to, it does have to do with the night. It does have to do, with, but it's not. Uh, it's not what's going on. Uh, uh, does anyone know what a gown is? Have you ever heard that word, gown? Because it is a, a, a two words put together here. Night is a part of it, and gown is the other part. Does anyone? Has anyone heard the word gown? Okay. Yeah, it's it's um, it's a uh, it's a cloth when you uh, that you use when you when you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's I now I, I remember. <laughs> uh, clothes that you wear when you go to bed, nightgown. I think usually a woman wears nightgown. You want, you want. <laughs> it's not something for men. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> good. Okay. Any other any other vocabulary questions here of these words here? Costume party. I think we can understand costume. I think most of us know maybe mask. What about what's facial? What is facial? I don't know how to. Like your face, facial expression. Yeah, it's about the face, but I don't know. It's how about to. the uh, it's about the face. But yeah, it's about. The face. Yeah, exactly. That's that's it. That's the that's the answer. <laughs> really, facial <laughs> facial is something to do with the face. Um, so we'll look at it later to see what they're talking about. Uh, so. Maybe it's something is not deep. It's just. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the middle, uh, superficial. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's a different word. It's different. So All facial right. is really just about literal, literal about your face. That's it's about the face. All that's right. all it is. No, it depends on the context, though. We'll find out later what it's about. Okay. All right. Good. And uh, a mask is something that you put in your face, right? On your face. Yeah, you put on your face. Yes. Put on your face. Teacher. Yeah. The pron the pronunciation. The the last word um embarrassed embarrassed embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll say uh, embarrassed. 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 Yeah, and then the the stress is on the second syllable. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Uh huh. Okay. Thank so um, well, yeah, no problem. So let's look at the. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here? Well, um, we got Doug and Eleanor. So, man, we only got men today. There's no women here, are there? No. Women. <laughs> what is the girl? Okay, so yeah, we're the girls today. <laughs> Maybe they don't like us. Maybe they have more better. 
better thing for you than hang out with us guys in Colingo. <laughs> Man. All right. Because it'd be nice to have a girl because then she could, see, she could tell Eleanor's part. All right. Um, why don't we... Uh, why don't we uh, let's do this? And I will be Eleanor, and Freikar will be Doug. In this story, at least for this first part. Do I start? Well, is, are you Doug? Okay. Good morning. Yeah. Go ahead. Good morning, Doug. Did you enjoy the movie last night? Uh, it was so so. What about you? Did you and Dad have a nice time at the party? Don't ask. <laughs> Why? We thought we thought that Dad's new boss, Sheila, and her husband, Bob, were having a big party last night. When Dad and I arrived at their house, Sheila was standing in front of a mirror. <laughs> she was wearing a nightgown and a green facial mask. Bob opened the door. He was wearing pajama bottoms and putting on a t-shirt. Let me understand a little bit more. Oh, okay. no. I'll we'll go, we'll go back. Okay, I was really embarrassed. What about that? What did he say? Uh, he turned to me and said, Eleanor, you didn't tell me it was a costume party. Was it a costume party? No. Sheila laughed and said, uh, uh, Pete, we're not having a costume party, and our party isn't tonight. Then she showed us an invitation. Their party's going to be next Saturday night. We showed up on the wrong day. What do you say? I didn't know what to say. And Dad? He didn't either. We just said, oh, <laughs> oh. What? Does that still have a job? <laughs> job? Yes, but only because Sheila has a good sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So why don't we look at that again? Let's just go back through this. Um, so good morning. So any um, questions about what we're talking about here, the story or the vocabulary or pronunciation or anything about this story? Just look at it again. Just kind of read through it. I think I understood. You understood the basic concept. I I, I think so. Yeah. Mhm. Mm eh. Yeah. Bahama bottoms. Ah, good. What does that mean? Pajama bottoms. We pronounce the J. We I think pronounce... I think pajama is like nightgown, right? It is, correct. But buttons, I don't know. Um, so for a man, if a man is wearing pajamas, usually like the traditional pajamas for a man is there's a top, there's a button-down shirt on top, and pants on the bottom. So uh, for some reason in English we call those pajama bottoms, <laughs> so... pants. The pants of your pajamas are pajama bottoms. I don't know why. That's what we call them. Good question, though. I'm glad you asked. Okay. All right. You have not said here. You have not done this. Bye. Isn't an event. She shows an invitation. The price of the baby said, Now she walked up after one day. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So let's try. Now that we've looked over that a couple times, let's look at this. So, Hernan. Yes, teacher. Okay. So uh, we're going to write, we're going to answer these questions. Either if it's right or wrong, or maybe I don't know, but only if we're only if we really don't know from the text. <laughs> so, what about number two? Eleanor and Pete enjoy themselves, custom party. Um, 
That's right. Uh, I don't know. That's wrong, I would say. That's they right. they were they were a little bit lost because they didn't know the the right day of the party. Ah, so there was so, no party. There was no party. That's because I would say that's wrong. The sentence. Okay, because they can't they can't enjoy the party because it it was not there was the wrong day. <laughs> so I think. Am I right? Uh, I think. Yeah. So that's I think it should be wrong. Yep. I think that's better. Okay. Right. So, um, um, uh, Liang Wei. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi. Oh, I was gonna ask. Uh, Hi, Liang Wei. Calling me. Yes. <laughs> uh, Number three. It's uh, my turn. If you want to see, please wait a second. Okay. Number three. Hi. Number three. Number three. No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. So let's see. Sheila was wearing a suit when Eleanor and Peter arrived. Yeah. What was she wearing? She uh -huh. wear that wrong. Ah, she was in a nightgown. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. So that's embarrassing. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Um, Alexander. Yes. Number four. Number four. Okay. So Bob was wearing your pajamas when Winston's arrived. At well, we don't know because he doesn't actually said so. Uh huh. Yeah. We yeah. We don't know. That's good. Uh, we don't even know. We don't know anything. why. We don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> no, this is um. <laughs> okay, Freika. I think that's right. Yeah, next Saturday night. That's correct. Yeah, they said no. It's not tonight. It's next Saturday night. And she showed them the invitation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had it wrong, yeah. So you're right, that's correct. Okay. Um, okay, Hernan. Sheila and Bob are going to have a costume party next Saturday. The ne next Saturday, right? Let's look here. Let's check it out here. They know they talked. To uh -huh. Let's look at the text here. Maybe we can find it. Saturday, right? Uh, that's right. Let's see here. It's not a custom party. What does it it's say in this paragraph? It's a uh, pity. Hernan? Yeah. Can you let's look at this paragraph here where the North says they uh, they party their party is going to be next Saturday right? Uh, they refer to so in this paragraph it says Sheila Sheila said we're not gonna uh, we're not having a costume party uh, and our party uh, isn't tonight. So they they didn't know the the party and they didn't know the day of the party. Yeah, they had it all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so the number six is uh, well, I it's I guess it's that's wrong because they're definitely gonna have a party next Saturday night. But she said that we're not having a costume party, so it's not a costume party. Uh, but it is. So this is only half right. It is next Saturday night, but it's it's just a regular party, I guess. Okay. So that's uh, that's technically okay. wrong. Okay. What else do we have here? So all right. So let's look at past progressive affirmative and negative statements. Uh, um. So, Ernan, let's stick with you, Ernan. I want to keep talking to you. Let's look at uh, 
let's look at the possibilities here on affirmative and negative statements with the subject here um, past of B to B okay and then uh, let's just use let's use sleeping so go ahead and just read through the different possibilities so let's do the affirmative here so like I was sleeping like Oh yeah. You see that? Yeah. I I was not I I wasn't sleeping. You you weren't you weren't uh, how how pronunciation and contraction um uh, the second person teacher. You okay. were not so, you weren't. You can Yep, yep. So you were not or you weren't weren't you weren't you weren't sleeping he she it wasn't sleeping we you they weren't it's equal that second person person second right. uh, you, uh, the pronunciation is equal to yes it is the same uh, it is equal mm -hmm. okay same no problem good okay okay very, very good so let's see here um, okay Leandro yeah. Uh, um, let me. Let, all right, I'm here. Say. Yeah. The, the yes or no questions on the left here. Uh, all right. Uh, was I laughing? Were you laughing? Was he laughing? Was she laughing? Was it raining? Were we laughing? Were you laughing? Were they laughing? Laughing. What is the right pronunciation? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Laughing. Yeah. Laughing. It's perfect. You did it very well. Okay. All right. What else may, okay. I, may, I, may I do? No, that's great. That's great. Now let's have uh, uh, Liang Wei. Hi, teacher. Which one you asked me to read? Uh, how are these uh, affirmative and negative short answers? Let's read through this. Um, Formative, negative. You yes. yes, you were. Yes, I was. Yes, he was. Yes, she was. Yes, it was. Yes, you were. Yes, we were. Yes, they were. Okay. Negative. You, you weren't. Weren't. Uh, no, you weren't. No, I weren't. No, he weren't. No, she weren't. Yes, it weren't. No, you weren't. No, we weren't. No, they weren't. Continue. Good. Good. Uh, yep, that's good. Very yeah, good. That's good. Thank you. Okay, so I see uh, Lino has joined us. Lino? Oh. Lino, are you there? Absolutely, he's uh, he is here, but he cannot talk. He's here, but something. Maybe his microphone is not working. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, the WH questions? The classic WH. So, has Alexander returned, or? Uh, let's see, Alexander, are you back? I know you took a break. Which is just fine. I, I wish I could do that sometimes. Okay, good. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so Freikar, mm -hmm. let's look at the WH questions. Wow. Questions about the subject. So, who uh, was talking? Um, yep. Who was talking? Uh, who was happening? What was happening? Right, what was happening? So we have a WH word, the past tense of to be in the base form of the verb plus ing. Who was talking? Right. What about the rest of them, Freikar? Let's keep going. Okay. What was I saying? Where was he working? When was she studying? Why was 
it working? Who are you working with? How are you we doing? <laughs> Sorry. How were we doing? How long were, were they working? Sorry. Okay. Good. Teacher? All right. Yes. Could you please explain for me a little bit about barking? I don't know what does it mean. What does it mean? Barking. Barking. Barking? That's right. Okay. Does anyone know what barking is? Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, I think uh, it's what the, uh, the dog say. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, oh. what the dog yeah. says. Is that something that dog does? Yeah. The dog barks and the cat oh, meows. All right, I got it. No, no, it was barking. The dog was barking like woof. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. Thanks so much. All right. So let's look at these grammar notes. Ooh, lots. Of, look at all these rules here. Oh my goodness. Look at all these great, wonderful rules. Uh, oh, that's too big. Too big. I'll make it like this. Okay. So, um, Hernan. Yes, teacher. Can you read number one, please? Okay. Um, can you. Uh, teacher, make, can you I make am more a document. One second. One second. Uh, one second. Oh, uh, teacher. Can you okay. move the document uh, a little bit? Uh? Oh, you can't, you can't read it? Grammar oh. note. Uh, I can't see the whole document. Really? Does anyone else have a problem seeing the document? Okay. How about okay. this? Better? Okay, go ahead, Erna. Okay. Use the past progressive to show that an action was in progress at a, a specific time in the past. They were working at 7 o'clock last night. Good. Two. Good. Okay. 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 Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So let's just take a look at this. Okay. Very good. So past progressive. Not just past tense, right? So past tense would be what? They worked at 7 o'clock. They worked last night. They worked last night. But um, when you're talking about the specific time when they worked, when they were working, this, uh, when it was in progress, they were working at 7 o'clock last night. So what were they doing last night? They were working at 7 o'clock. Okay, that's past progressive. It's a, it's a different, it's a form of past tense. Okay, excellent. Uh, Leandro? All right. Number two. Uh, two. Do you want to read everything or just the sentence? Uh, use it. Uh, all number two. All right. Use the past progress and the simple past in one sentence to show that one event, the simple past event, Interrupt another the past progress event. Event is the right pronoun. That's I was asleep yep. when I was sleeping when the phone rang. The rings interrupts in my sleep. That's boring when something like that happened. <laughs> uh, okay, do not continue. use do not use the past progress to show that one event followed another. He, he woke up when the phone range. Uh, there was no interruption. First, the phone range. Then he woke up. Okay, so uh, good. Now, one quick pronunciation thing. Um, uh, we don't. Uh, this is the N G sound. Is a. It just. It's not pronounced. It's like rang, rang. So the phone rang. I just I'm wanted to. I'm sorry. How is the the right pronunciation? Uh, really? Yeah, I heard a more of a. Yeah, it just rang. No, no, just sound. Just rang. Rang. Okay. All rang. right. Thanks. 
We don't pronounce the G. It's like an N. The NG at the end of a word is always like sleeping, rang, same same sound. All right. Okay. Um, oh yeah, past progressive and the simple past in one sentence. So I was I was sleeping when the phone rang. So we're using both past progressive and simple past in bold here. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, okay. Liang Wei. Hi, teacher. Number Hi, three. Teacher. Yep. Number three. Oh, don't move. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Number three. Yes, please. Yeah. Number three. Note, you can change the order of the two parts of a sentence. Containing or continuous action and uh, an interruption. When you begin with the continuous action, does not use a comma between the two parts. Continue. Please. Please. I was driving across the bridge when I got a flat tire. She was skiing. She was skiing when she fell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, Continue. When you begin with the interruption and the and the uh, comma between the two parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, there must be more then. There must be more. So one more. So read this uh, example up here then too. Liang Wei. What is going on? So. Yeah, uh, Liang Wei, there's one more. Uh, one more uh, when more I in, uh, was got a flat tire, I was driving across the bridge. When she right. fell, she right. was skiing. Right, okay, so do you see that? So we're saying the same thing, but when you, when you switch it around, you need a comma, okay? So let's look at this again. Very good, thank you, thank you, Liang Wei. Okay, so. Um, oh, this was talking about using... oh. yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 you. Oh, I want to see the document uh, again. You have done this. So, what did I do? She wants to see the document again. On the top. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no question. No question. You oh. Peter. Oh. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we're talking about using an interruption uh, in continuous action. So, uh, this is an easier way to say this, though. When I was driving across, uh, or I was driving across the bridge when I got a flat tire. And you don't need a comma there because it's it keeps going. Uh, it's an order, right? It's like, in, it's like in chronological order. That's how it happens in time. She was skiing when she fell. Or... If you switch it around, when she fell, comma, she was skiing. But that's that's a weird way to say it. I don't. That doesn't really make much sense anyway. So, no comma necessary here. Okay. So let's look at some more of these rules here. Um, Alexander. Yes, I'm here. How about number four, please? Okay. In sentences where one event interrupts another, you can use when before the simple past event or while before the past progressive event. When means at the time at uh, at the time that while means during the time that. I was I was driving across a bridge when a car hit my car. While I was driving across the bridge, a car hit my car. Uh-huh. Right, right. So these are in different, they use these for different reasons here. Um, you're never going to use while in this sentence. Um, 
You might be able to use when here, actually. When I was driving, I said, I could see using when here, too, actually. But here, you'd never use while. Um, so it's this like is what uh, happened. The result. Teacher, maybe yeah. in, this, in the sentences, um, exist two, two cases. The first case would be when uh, driving, right? And second situation is when uh, hit the car. Uh, uh -huh. Right. Uh, so, um, will be that this case uh, is the refer the the rule. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is they're both saying the same thing, but we're saying it in different ways where we need um, to, to use different words. So when you use while, it means it just means that um, the car hit during the time you were driving. While means during. During the time I was driving, all of a sudden a car hit my car. Um, now this is like uh, I was driving across the bridge, minding my own business. It's just like when, uh, then it's like then you can also say then a car hit my car. It's like when it's like it's just a way to say that's what happened next. So they're very different uses of the word. Okay. Okay. All right. So, all right. Sorry, Frank. I muted you just for a second, just because there's a lot of crickets and that my my ears are hurting from the high pitched cricket sound. <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna but, start, start uh, off the line. Okay. What's that, Leander? I'm gonna turn off the mic too. Oh, no problem, no problem. Okay, so Ern, uh, Ernan? Okay. Uh, okay. Roll five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, I didn't talk. I did, it's Frycar's turn. It's Frycar's turn, actually. So, because that's... Uh, I need Frycar to read number five. <laughs> He's excited to read. Yeah, I know. I want him to read. Sorry, Frycar. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bad teacher. I'm terrible. <laughs> I know we were talking before and I forgot that you didn't read the last one. <laughs> okay. Use the past policy for two actions to continue in the past. While express an, the idea that the two actions were happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. While they were laughing, she was crying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so use the past progressive for two actions that continued in the past. So they both continued continued in the past. Um, so both things were happening at the same time. So in a way you could say they were laughing at the same time she was crying. What a crazy crazy time that was. They were laughing and she was crying all at the same time. You can say that, uh, you can express that by forming the sentence. While they were laughing, she was crying. They both happened at the same time. Um, and you can you cannot say she was crying while they were laughing. Yes, you can, and there's it's that's both times. Uh, that works perfectly here. You can switch around, and you still need that comma. It's still the same. While she was laughing, they were crying. So that's the same. You can switch that. Good question. So you can switch them around, and you still need the comma for that one, right? So even if you look up here. While I was driving across the bridge, car hit my car. Um, that's the same kind of rule, but it's not. But the car only happened one time. The the hit the, the hit is just one quick you know happened in a second. So uh, if you switch these, you know there's no you you remove the comma. So that's it's different. Okay. Um, okay. Good. Okay, um, okay, now I don't know. Okay. Six. Remember, the progressive is not usually used with known action verbs. See page 195 in unit 7 for a discussion of known action verbs. We understood the lesson, not we were understanding the lesson. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So yeah, non-action verbs. We understood to understand. Yeah. 
we understood. We never say we were, we, uh, yeah, it, you never say we were understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, Good. Sorry, teacher. Uh, yeah. I I mean uh, I I've been uh, an interpreter, and some people use understanding like Winston. Understanding like. Uh, when when they say, for example, uh, I want God give you Winston and understanding. And. Yep. Humble, but I don't know in in uh, in this case what that means in this case understanding. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like uh, Winston. Yeah, no, it's it's very different. In this, we're just talking about the process of understanding. We're just talking about as a verb understanding. Not yeah, yeah, but, but but yeah, but I mean in 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 the case that I told you. Can you understand? Hmm? You told me what? I, I missed. I think you got cut out. I think I missed something you said. There was a, a, an interruption in the in the internet. Say that one more time. I mean, uh, in the case that I told you, mm -hmm. when when somebody okay, uh, yeah. sometimes ah oh, come on, sometimes I'm Christian, right? And uh, sometimes uh, the people from America, as from USA are praying for another people, for somebody else, and they say, mm -hmm. I would like that, uh, for example, I would like that God give you wisdom, humble, and understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know in this yeah. case what understanding means. Yeah, because so, of course okay. understanding is not severe in this case. Right. So, okay, I understand. I understand what you're saying. So understanding has a lot of different possible uh, parts of speech. It can be a verb, it can be a noun, and it can be an adjective. So um, if I read this lesson here, I could say uh, number one as a verb, I, I understood. Uh, number two as a noun, I have a good understanding of this lesson. I have a good understanding of what I just read. Number three uh, as an adjective, um, um, you know, I could say, Freikar is my friend, he's really nice, and uh, um, he's a very understanding person, and I know I can trust him, because he's, very, he's, he's a very understanding gentleman. So I think I'm right on that. I think there's three totally different ways you can use the same exact word. Right. So mm -hmm. the, last, the last one, it's like, a, it's a little smart. Uh yeah exactly it's like it's if someone is understanding that means they're more more like caring and thoughtful caring and thoughtful understanding like you understand me you understand what I'm thinking how I feel you you a really understanding person then you're very yeah you under you understand the way they feel and you care about them. Teacher, right. Antonio, yes. uh, about the mm -hmm. second second one. I would say that for maybe when I was understanding something and suddenly I stopped understanding that. You know what, what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I, I would say I would say so, I mean I would say the set, set the second sentence we would understand in the lesson. Uh, and suddenly I, I stopped understanding that. You yeah, know what I mean? I, that would be a yeah, I, I I thought of that myself. Actually, <laughs> I was thinking that it's, it's possible. So that's a different way to say it. So but we, you could say we were understanding the lesson, but then we stopped understanding. <laughs> that we we although that's a little strange. That's my. Uh, I guess you could say we thought. You could say we thought we were understanding the lesson, but we were mistaken, uh, uh, and we stopped. It's better. But. Uh, but they're just talking about a common a common error in uh, English as a second language. Yeah, but teacher, you said, oh. for example, my friend is an understanding person, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. can I say my friend is an understanding person? No. No, you can't. You can't say he's an understand. You can only say he's an understanding person. I don't know why, but that's how we say that always. Well known. Yeah, you can say I, he understands. Well known, well known person. What's that, Leandro? 
maybe may I say he is my friend is a well known person. Yeah, sure. That's right. You could say well known person. Yeah. All right. All right. But that's a different it means very different than understanding. <laughs> but yes, all it's right. uh, you can say. All right. All right. Just a different uh, uh, quality. Well known is like famous. If someone's famous, they're well known. Okay, let's do some matching. All right. Um, so, uh, Leandro? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, what about number two here? Let's see. Um, choose the best way to complete uh, sentence number two. I was skiing. Let me see. Take your time. When uh, when I when I fell and broke my ankle, ankle. Right, ankle. Yep, uh, ankle. I was skiing when I fell and broke my ankle. Oh, uh, could be when my. Uh, that that's the best. That's the best one. I agree. I agree. That's the best <laughs> one. Cool. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Liang Wei. Hi, teacher. Which one? How about number three? Number three. Number three. Mm. Mm. When I burned my finger, I was cooking. That works. Yeah, I was cooking when yeah, I, I burned my finger. Uh huh. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Uh, Alexander. Ah uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Number four, right? Yep. Uh yes, please. Okay. She was petting the dog when it growled and bit her hand. Okay, she was petting the dog. When it growled and bit her hand. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right, Freikar. Number five. Cricket. Crickets. That's right. Do you know what crickets are? <laughs> yeah, I look it. Uh, I it's look just... it in Google Translate. It, it's an animal, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, but really, and when it comes to the speakers, I, it's I just really, the high pitched noise. Very, very hard to hear everyone for me because in my speakers, it's it comes out very loud and it's very high pitched and it hurts my ears. So it's not you're you're not making any noise, but the crickets in the background for some reason they come out in the front and and uh, they make it very hard for me to over here and I don't know why. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So I, you, I didn't listen to them, but now I can hear them. I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I can hear them very well, and so it was just distracting. But no problem. You're not being distracting. It's just the the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're uh, you're fine. Okay, so uh, how about number uh, five? I was eating a carrot. <laughs> Come on, that's really bad. <laughs> when my tooth fell out. Feel out. <laughs> oh my gosh! I got a light to be here. Uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, good. Okay, um, Hernan. Yes. Uh, how about number six? Number six. When we're driving to work. Mm, just a minute. Uh, maybe D. D. Yes, I think that's the best one. Very good. 
Yeah, we were driving to work. We were driving, so it must have been our car. We were driving in our car okay. uh, to work when a truck banged into my car. Bang. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Right. What <laughs> what uh, does bang mean? Ah, I'm glad I'm glad you asked because uh, I was wondering if anyone had a question about that. So banged is another way to say like crashed into my car or it collided in my car. To bang into something is uh, to hit. It hit my car. All right, hit my car. Right. Accident. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for asking. Um, no, okay. thank you for thank so. you for you telling me what that means. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Leandro. All right, that's my third. Uh, uh, the seventh one, he was standing in the canoe. Maybe the option A, when it turned over and he fell in the water. I'm, Did you uh, I didn't hear the rest of that. I said uh, when it I chosen, I chosen, I chosen the, the A. When it turned over and he fell in the water. Great. The That's one. correct. Yeah. Yes, he was standing in the canoe. Canoe. When it turned over and he. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's the pronunciation. Uh, canoe. Canoe. Ooh. canoe. 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 All right. And, Thanks. Uh, when it uh, when it turned over and also one little pronunciation thing. Whenever we have a past tense with an ed at the end, uh -huh. we never pronounce the. English. That's uh, when it turned over. Turned over. Turned over. Turned over. Yeah. Just a little pronunciation help. But yes, that's correct. And then uh, let me let me keep the sentence. And then he he got a fish. <laughs> he got a fish. <laughs> oh, he got a fish. Uh, yeah. Uh, very good. I was just kidding. Teacher can now eat like ship. Right. He's back. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, at my sometimes when I turn off my screen share, like I, Google kicks me out. I don't know why. So no, I was no, just no. gonna comment on, on your on your added piece. So sometimes I do a games class and we play games, and we have a game called Fortunately, Unfortunately. I think some of us may have played that before, and yeah, so that's exactly how we play that game. Yeah, so we tell the story. So, like, unfortunately, we tipped over in our canoe. We fell in the water, and then your turn. You'd say, but fortunately, uh, I got a fish. <laughs> so, so that's uh, you'd be really good at that game. That was a good, uh, good addition. I like that ending. Happy ending. <laughs> cool. All right. So um, that's bye, enough for. Bye, Yes, are you leaving? Oh, I am very hungry. It's time oh. for lunch. Oh, time for lunch. Lunch time. All right, bon appetit. Oh. Have a good lunch. <laughs> thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for joining oh. us. It's time. I hope you find your girlfriend. <laughs> Cindy wants me to find a girlfriend. Well, that's that's nice. We had a we had a chat oh, last week about. I am married. Yeah, he's married. He's got a daughter. So, uh, he's ahead of me. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so thanks everyone, and uh, I do have one more class in one hour. If anyone's still awake, or if Shin Yu is done with his uh, lunch, he can come join you. But if you guys are still awake, I will be teaching a class on idiom. I'm gonna leave. But thanks everyone. Uh, because I have to work tomorrow, and uh, it yeah. was a, a great time for being here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Larry, I, I have learned a lot. Thanks so much. Great. We're glad you joined us. I hope to see you in my next class some, some other day. I will be. I will be. No doubt about that. Great. Awesome. It was amazing. See Hi, you. Guys.
Good night. Take care. Good night, everybody. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a great night. You too.